To ensure the engine's resistance to a collision with birds or other foreign objects, an engine test is performed where a complete fan blade is broken while the engine is running at full thrust. The energy released has to be absorbed by a containment ring that completely shrouds the fan, preventing the failed fan blade from damaging the safety equipment inside the engine nacelle, the aircraft fuselage and the wings. The A340 was used to verify the engine operation throughout the flight envelope, including icing conditions, long before the engine could be flown on the A380 prototype itself. New engines are run for the first time at a specially protected run-up site, where polluting fluids may be burned or collected safely. The A380 first flight was performed on April the 24th, 2005 in Toulouse. During four hours, the crew explored the normal flight envelope of the aircraft, which kept to its promises and confirmed its expected qualities. The A380 was airborne. The flight tests campaign could start. Taking advantage of the very long runway at Istre French Air Force Base, Tests were conducted to determine the minimum speed at which the aircraft can be safely lifted off the ground. The VMU speed is not for use in normal operation, but it must be accurately established so that the normal rotation speed for takeoff can be defined with a sufficient safety margin. A special hydraulic tail bumper was installed especially for this test to damp the shock in case of ground contact. The RAT emergency backup turbine was tested both on ground and in flight and was exposed to prolonged icing conditions, one of the most challenging operating environments for such equipment. For rejected takeoff tests RTOs, the aircraft is accelerated at increasing masses and the takeoff is interrupted at high speed to simulate a failure preventing a safe takeoff. The carbon discs in the brakes become red hot and the safety fuses on the wheels melt to release excess tire pressure as the temperature surges. Flutter tests in flight are conducted at high Mach numbers to account for local airflow compressibility effects. Vibrations are initiated with flutter vanes, specially installed at the wingtips, to verify the damping characteristics of the structure and to confirm the absence of dangerous resonance modes.